Right, now here we are on the Schedule Limits panel and Schedule Limits allow us to set a maximum per day, a maximum per hour and a maximum per session and I'll explain each of these to you. We should probably start with the maximum per session and work our way up the upwards. Maximum per session is how many the items will be will be dealt with within uh, a single event. And an event is, is when someone visits your blog, WordPress loads and during that loading WordPress gets some things done. It does some work. And in, in our case it would it would often be it would create posts or it would update posts maybe it would import some data or update data we hope for a, a lot of other advanced things to to be included in the schedule but for now those are the main things and WordPress will do that when anyone visits your blog and that is why it's important important to have the maximum per session so that we don't have over processing per visit. In most cases people will select around 5, 10, maybe 25 if you're confident on your blog and your server. If you're very confident and you have a very good server, especially if you're not on shared hosts and so on, you could you could select 50 to 100. 100 would be really pushing it though. The chances are you will when you when you select 50 you will notice page load time slow down WordPress will be busy doing things creating posts or whatever and the the 50 is 50 items so it basically tells CSV to post to deal with 50 individual items it's not always the same the same thing that it does it might create 10 posts update another 10 posts and import 10 rows of, of data and so on so that's the the mix there is to try and get a balance on what's going on in csv to post itself if you are not confident you should never go high keep it down low one is fine if you've got a busy blog but you have to remember this only happens when when your blog's being visited so if your your domain is brand new you won't get a lot of traffic unless you're already advertising and therefore processing won't be triggered very often and, and if you want things to speed up just a little you might need to select 5 or 10 and those are good numbers if you, you want to really avoid any slow slowdown in the, the page load times however I think most people who use these plugins find it slightly acceptable for that that slowdown as long as it's not too frequent and we can we can avoid we can avoid making it making it frequent using the maximum per hour and maximum per day. Now we've gotten to the maximum per hour. Maximum per hour would allow us for example to select let's say ten and that would mean if in one hour we had ten visitors and our maximum per session was one we would we would hit our our limit if we only had five visitors we wouldn't have hit our limit for for that hour the plugin doesn't catch up it doesn't go oh hold on the maximum is 10 we've only created five because it was five visitors within the hours so we need to create we need to create well I'm talking as if the plugin is thinking right <laughs> it doesn't but bear with me so it doesn't go and create um the other five posts in a hurry sort of thing. It doesn't do that. These are limits, they're, they're not targets. All right. The, 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 the great thing about this is we can, we can set the limit and we can set the, ma the maximum per session very high and we would basically hit our maximum per hour straight away. We could set that to 300. It doesn't mean 300 items are going to be dealt with because the maximum per hour as as low as ten. All right, so that's that's a, a good way to control what's going on there. If you just want everything per hour to happen on the first visit, due to your traffic, then that's the way to go about doing it. Now I'll just move that back down here because these are the more common settings. Maximum per hour. Most users usually select something like fifty or one hundred when they're auto blogging and they want to build a blog at, at rapid s speed. The maximum per day has the same effect as maximum per hour does on session the the maximum per day will override 
uh, everything else. If the maximum per day is 50 and you select 1000 for per hour, then nothing will happen 1000 times within any hour. That's not going to happen. Alright, so that's another safeguard. But if you want, if you want to be very safe, you could do this. And whatever happens in this scenario that I've just set up here, there would only be 24. If we were, for example, if we were only post creating, we weren't post updating or up import importing data, then 24 posts would be created in the day, and that is how it would happen. What would happen though is the those 24 posts would be done all at once. They would happen in a single session on the first hour. All right, so you have to think about how what you, what sort of activity you want in the blog and what image you want to be setting when visitors come to your blog and see the the published dates and times and th things like that. Keep in mind we do have the ability to randomize published dates and times, but it's not the point. Uh, it's possible, and I've noticed this with blogs, that when I visited them and I refreshed the page, new posts appear. All right, I've seen that. I went to a blog uh, I've never been to before, and I refresh the page, and a new post appears. And I refresh it again a couple of minutes later, and another post appears. And, and the, then you, straight away, you know it's it's a, an old blogged website. So sometimes we want to spread it out just a little bit to to avoid avoid that being noticed so so easily. Um, I think that's it really. Uh, I would I would I would warn anyone about. Set, selecting these high numbers here in this sort of style uh, if you're if you're sharing your server and so on um, because this I mean obviously the maximum per session would be a lot at once especially if you then increase the maximum per hour now th this what I've just selected would allow five times two hundred so that's a lot that is that is a lot um, as for the maximum per day, that I wouldn't say the number is high. Five thousand is not high. Some people want to make blogs with two hundred thousand posts. Five five thousand in a day is not high, so you may want want other other options there. So just let us know. They're easily changed. We can add more buttons or just increase all of the numbers on on these buttons. All right. If you need to, if you need that done, just let us know. It is easily hacked, and we welcome anyone to hack it. We could set up, we, sh we could create settings so that you can tweak these these buttons yourself if you feel that you're going to be changing them a lot and just really playing around with it for a lot until you get things right. We could do that, but we don't anticipate anyone really needing that. But we'll do it if you ask. Just just let us know. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's that's it for this panel. It's time to go into events type, which is the the next video. All right.